The up. following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is representing Kalisa. Well, Trent, you know, I don't know the difference between a Tope Cone Hero and a Tope Suicida, so I'm going to give this back to Haley. Okay. So, a Tope Cone Hero, ladies and gentlemen, goes over the top. As we await the opponent for Arlequin, this individual, Ijo de Volador. I'm glad you said it and not me. I, I, I wasn't going to put on. I wasn't going to let our audience li listen to you attempt that. <laughs> yeah. But I will ask you this, Haley, because I know Jacob will give me hell if I don't. And Do his you know opponent. The Calicia oh, World Heavyweight Champion, Ijo Del Volador. Do you know what Ijo De Volador means? Absolutely not. Because I haven't been on Duolingo in a few years. All right, so let me educate you here. Ijo in the Spanish language means son. Son, like the, the word, son or? As in. The, the, the child, the son of someone. Okay. De, D-E, e, means of. I know that part. And Volador is the person that he is the son of. So son of Volador is this individual in the ring, the Coliseo Houston champion. So what does Volador mean? Well, Volador would be that man's father's name. So Hijo de Volador means son of Volador. So this would be, in other ways to say it, Volador Jr. Oh, okay. But in the Hispanic culture, it is a sign of respect to refer to yourself as Hijo de whomever your father is. So lots of respect for Hijo de Volador to his father, Volador, in this matchup. I like that. Which I will simply refer to him as Volador in this match because Arlequin and Volador, Ijo de Volador, Arlequin, I'm just gonna be a tongue tied here in this matchup. I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. Why not just say Ijo? Well, I would just say son the whole time. He's not my son. <laughs> Arlequin and Ijo de Volador there you go. starting off this matchup. Lucha action here at the Clutch City Classic. Which so far, it's been an absolutely amazing night. You're correct, Haley. A great night of professional wrestling here. A great night of Houston professional wrestling there here. There we go. That's what it is all about. Arla Keen telling a fan here to quiet down, doesn't want to get chopped once more. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Fast paced. Oh my Whoa. goodness, there's some spinning action right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucha action here, Premier Arena. Fast paced, agility. And there's Volador with the head scissors on Arlequin. Back elbow. I'm so fascinated right my now. My goodness, this action going so fast. Oh, 
Well, Volador and Arlequin, both individuals looking for some cheers for their respected fans here tonight. I feel they have been evenly matched so far in this matchup. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A torture rack position dropping him on the knee. That could snap a vertebrae right in your back. As Arlequin now with a handful of hair of Eho. The referee admonishing Arlequin to let go of the hair, but he's not listening and doing so. Oh, powerful chop into the chest there. Zenzio de Volador in the corner and now just getting kicked in the head from Arlequin. Shot to the face. the face. Almost disrespectful like. And now Arlequin asking the people here in Premier Arena if they want that once more as well. Reversal by Volador. Oh my goodness. Arlequin kick. didn't even see the super kick coming. Up over the top rope goes Io de Volador. Caught that shot, kick to the face, and now Eho going up top. Off the top rope, caught with a head scissor takeover. Off the ropes. Middle rope oh got caught gosh. with a big flying arm drag, and now Arlequin sent to the outside. Head of steam off the ropes comes Eo de Volador, head first. Suicide dive, or tope suicida. Onto Arlequin as both individuals are down. Now I see the difference what you were talking about earlier. Volador throwing caution to the wind, going head first into the chest of Arlequin. And that can damage the neck and spinal cord. That is of no consequence on the mind of Volador in this matchup. Shot to the head. And Arlequin trying to hold off Volador. Was Volador sending Arlequin into the ring? Volador. Oh, Arlequin with a shot to the chest. Volador took too much time there. Trying to decide what he was going to do next. As Arlequin did as well, and now met with a chop to the chest. Arlequin oh, wobbling around. He was winding it up, you know. Getting some momentum, I suppose. Yes. That was a very unique way to get some momentum. And now Arlequin and Volador look to be exchanging move for move here. Oh, ducked shot right there. Arlequin heading over, over the top rope. Volador coming right after him. Met with a shoulder tackle. Arlequin now at the top rope. Big oh shotgun goodness. drop kick off the top rope from Arlequin. There's a cover. This could be all. Only a two count for Arlequin. And there you see him upset, telling the referee needs to count faster, but it was only a two count. Nice move by Volador, switching out of that maneuver. Kick to the back of the head onto Arlequin, and now a cover from the champion. No, well, only a, the referee's hand apparently cramped at two and couldn't make the three count. What? what? And the Volador <laughs> asking him what's going on, the what? referee saying my hand cramped. And now Arlequin sitting back, laying in wait, has Volador up, double underhook, dropped him back on his back across his leg. There's a cover. 
Oh, and that was a faster count from the referee. What's going on? I'm not understanding what's going on right now. The referee <clears throat> made a much faster count, if you couldn't tell, Haley, on that pinning count right there than he did for Volador when he abruptly stopped. Off the ropes, it was Volador. Oh my gosh! Over the top of the sunset flip, and there's a cover. Only a two count, and that count was much slower than the count that was given for Arlequin. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not either. It seems that Arlequin might have the official in the back pocket as he catches Volador's clothesline here. As Volador in a precarious position with his arm behind his back and now switching up into a vertical wow. suplex here. Wow. Dropping him down up top. What a show of strength from Arlequin right there. That's power, baby. Referee up to four. Now a pinning count here. Only a two count. You hey, said that was a count of four? Well, his, his count with both individuals on the mat. Yes. And oh. now Arlequin with a big slam on Volador. Here's a cover. Only a two count as Arlequin questioning the referee's counting speed, which I'm sure everybody here is doing in Premier Arena. What a night here at the Clutch City Classic. We thank you if you're joining us live on IWTV. Tell us what you think using the hashtag Clutch City Classic. Wow, we got be, a hashtag. Be social on social media for all the Houston promotions here oh that perform in Premier Arena. High and risk. Arlequin oh my has gosh. Volador up top as Volador trying to set up a oh. big Frankensteiner over the top. Here's a cover and a three count for Volador. Here's your winner, the Galicia World Heavyweight Champion, Hijo de Volador. Galicia Champion, Hijo de Volador with a big head scissor takeover. Huracan Rana, if you will, from the top rope to secure a victory here tonight against Arlequin in the Clutch City Classic. Coliseo de Houston on full display here in this matchup. And there you see their champion hand raised victoriously here tonight on this momentous occasion, this wonderful night of Houston professional wrestling. And again, ladies and gentlemen, they are here every Sunday night. Every Sunday. Every Sunday night, there's a show of respect by these two individuals who had a great battle. Oh, oh wow. That's very respectful. Very nice show of respect from Arlequin here, putting the championship title on the champion, Hijo de Volador that Coliseo de Houston World Championship. Lucha Wrestling, everybody. There you even see some money being thrown into the ring, a very prominent custom in Lucha Libre. Fans throwing cash money into the ring, showing their pleasure for the work in the matchup that they had just witnessed from the luchadors in the ring.